Hi church, it's Tuesday. Put your sunglasses on so you uh, are not blinded by the glare. I do what I say I'm going to do. I uh, shaved my head because I told the kids I would if you raised enough money for them to go to the gathering. So I paid my debt. I lived up to my word. Had the kids uh, shaved my head after Bible school uh, today. I wore uh, an old ratty shirt to uh, catch all the loose hair, LOL. But I would like to talk about something serious. Uh, I saw, again, that there were mass killings uh, in Japan. A disgruntled former employee walked into a group home of developmentally and physically disabled children and stabbed and killed 19. In Normandy, France, which is still a relatively Catholic region of an increasingly secular country, two Islamic terrorists walked in, held some nuns hostage, and then slit the throat of an 84-year-old priest. I don't want these videos to become so uh, common, but I'm afraid they're going to be. And I don't, I don't have the habit of reading St. Augustine of Hippo very often, but something was uh, shared with me that I thought I would share with you. These are the words of St. Augustine of Hippo. Bad times, hard times. This is what people keep saying. But let us live well and times shall be good. We are the times. Such as we are, such are the times. St. Augustine is one of our great church fathers. Hippo is in Algeria. There was, and to a certain degree still is, a strong Christian community in North Africa. Before the church really went north to present-day Turkey and Greece and Egypt, the church went south to Egypt, Algeria, Tunisia. The Sahara Desert was a great physical barrier. The Christian community was safe north of the Sahara Desert. We are the times. So whether the times are good or whether the times are bad, whether they are challenging and even more challenging and even more challenging, we are the times. Let us live well. Let us live confidently that whatever time happens, whatever time comes to us, our confidence is not in the good times. We are not afraid of the bad times because our confidence, our wellness, our health is due to Christ. He has all time in his hands. Yes, it's maybe a vacation Bible school song. He's got the whole world in his hands. Well, of course he does. There was no time until God said, let there be. God stands outside of time. And into this time, he has put his son, Jesus. It was God who gives time who gave us all time. Let there be a great light to govern the day and a lesser light to govern the night. The sun and the moon, daytime, nighttime, things we know, the nighttime that terrifies us, the things that go bump in the night. There will be good times, there will be hard times, bad times, terrifying times, frightening times. There will be those times. But we are the times. Let us live well, and times shall be good. 
such as we are, such are the times. Let us pray for God to strengthen our faith, to open our eyes, to lift up our eyes and see Jesus, such as we are, faithful children of God. Such will be the time. God bless you and me and all those who believe in our Lord Jesus. Amen.